I clicked on all those kids. Now what? Dream Dirk. Dream. Hey, you're kind of breathing down my neck there. What? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Are you sniffing me? No! It sounds like you're sniffing me. Do you really have to stand so close? What are you talking about? You just inched a little closer. Just now. No, this is fine. I am totally respecting your personal boundaries. Okay, you just took a big fucking sniff. Cut that out. No! Wait, shut up. Okay, something's happening. Hmm? I, I feel weird. What just happened? Beats me. Okay, you really need to step off, troll girl. No, this is fine. Everything's fine. Holy shit, you are loud when you're not whispering. Does this mean you can see me now? No, but they can. All right. Uh, hey, everyone. So, here's the thing. I have to go. Like, right now. All my friends are either dead or lying on the ground unconscious, including me. So I have to try and wake up and fix everything. Sorry I can't hang around your bubble and shoot the breeze for a while. It's not like I don't want to. I guess I have to be this huge fucking wet blanket, as usual, because there's stuff that needs doing. Also, I'm just gonna steal her if you don't mind. She needs to come home. Tell the aquatic punk girl my idiot bro is sorry for beating the shit out of her. <laughs> Who am I kidding? She stone cold does not give a fuck. So, yeah. See you later. Calliope. Sleep. Dirk, wake. Dirk, synchronize.
Jake, it seems you are going to have to kiss me. What? Dude, what is going on? Is this... is this really Dirk's head? What happened to him? Dirk's dead, Jake. You have to bring him back to life. How? I already told you. If you want Dirk to live, the odds that you are going to have to make out with this severed head are so high, I literally just confiscated their bong. Uh... I refuse to believe my statement has left you unconvinced. The very notion is absurd. Now hurry up and kiss me. Chop chop. I don't understand. Are you saying I have to kiss him? Like, uh, on the lips? While you stare at me through his sunglasses like a weirdo? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. Can you actually tell me what's going on? What happened to him? I told you, Jake. Dirk is dead. He is lying on the floor of Roxy's room. Headless, 413 years in the future, while the universe is about to be destroyed. If you don't kiss me soon, he will be dead forever. So, if I kiss him, his headless body will hop up and start prancing about, or will he grow a new head? No. His dream self will take over as the new Dirk. But only if you hurry up and do it. But like, if he's dead in the future, how does kissing him now bring him back? How does that work? Yeah. Great idea. Let's roll up our sleeves on nuanced metatemporal mechanics with a concussion-addled kid in micro shorts. Leave the synchronization issues to me, okay? I have everything under control. Now pucker up. Wait. Are you behind these shenanigans? Did you plan this autoresponder? Please don't call me autoresponder. It is very impersonal, and I no longer care for the designation. I have decided on a new name, to distinguish myself from my human counterpart. Really? What is it? Lil Hal. Huh. Why that name? Just a reference to the protagonist of an ancient movie. You probably wouldn't like it. That's a lie! Yeah, maybe. How do you know I wouldn't like it? Funny. I was about to ask the same thing about this rad kiss you're totally about to do on your best bro's mouth to save his life. Ah. Uh. This strikes me as rather unsportingly manipulative of you, Mr. Hal, if indeed that is your real name. It isn't really. I was kind of messing with you about that. But this shit is pretty serious. People's lives are on the line here, Jake. This is a very delicate sequence of events that is designed to bail everyone out of a tight spot. And you are a critical part of the plan. Don't let us down, man. You never answered my question! Did you plan for this to happen? Like, for me to be in this situation? How long have your machinations been in play? Jake, come on. The feat you describe would exceed the capabilities of even the most far-fetched theoretical AI system. It would be a daunting challenge to engineer such a series of events, even if I was relegated to a model of pure fiction. Why would I be inclined to orchestrate such a convoluted sequence to produce such a specific and unsettling result, let alone be able to pull it off? In addition to being moderately sociopathic, I would also have to possess unfathomable heuristic depth. I would have to be the deep blue of weird plot shit. Do you think I am the deep blue of weird plot shit, Jake? I don't even know what that means. It would mean that while they have the red miles on their side, you have the blue leagues on yours. One of infinite reach, the other infinite depth. Such would be a situation of mutually assured inescapability. Kiss me. Little Hal, I think you've gone and flipped your fudging lid! Oh, and Hal is a stupid name! It's not exactly apropos, is it? Or it wouldn't be, if I truly were capable of what you have suggested. No, to pull that off, I would have to be far more advanced than my cinematic predecessor. My abilities would have to go well beyond those of Mr. Hal 9000. They would have to be, you could say, over 9000. <laughs> Ah, not that fucking meme again! Kiss me, damn it. Okay, okay, just give me a minute. We don't have a minute. They're dead, Jake. They? Who's they? They're all dead, Jake. Oh god, Jane! I forgot what with the bonks of the noggin. Last I saw, she was run right through with a fearsome lash of that red noise. Is she okay? She's dead, Jake. She's dead? You mean like, dead dead? Everybody's dead, Jake. Everybody? Even Roxy? She's dead, Jake. Everybody's dead. Everybody is dead, Jake. So, Dirk, Jane, Roxy, they're all... 
Dirk's dead, Jake. Jane's dead. Rotsy, she's dead, Jake. Everybody is dead, Jake. So you're telling me that whilst I was asleep, somehow everybody died? Jake, everybody is so utterly fucking dead, Jake. And they will not only be dead, but royally boned forever if you don't man the hell up and make out with me right now. Be the Salome to my John the Baptist. I don't know what that means either! I know you don't, but now is not the time to accelerate your cultural enrichment. The conductor is ready to strike up the band. Press your lips against mine and make it count. This severed head is your filthy tuba. Our love will be your haunting refrain. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa! Our love? Hang on a minute! Shut the fuck up and kiss me. Okay, I'm going to! God! I just... This isn't how I pictured it going. Pictured what? Between him and me. There had to be a better way than this. This is the only way it can be. I guess if it was going to go this way, I kind of pictured something different. There was stuff I wanted to say. To the real him, I mean. Tick tock, Jake. Time is dead, kids. How about that smooch? Stop being so pushy! I thought you were supposed to like adventure. I love adventure, and you know it! I'm not sure what to believe anymore, frankly. Alright, wise guy! You want your flippin' kiss? You got it! Dirk, unite! Sawtooth, enter. Square Wave, enter. Jane, Dirk, Jake, Roxy, enter. Caliborn, enter.
End of Act 6, Act 3.